So this is my ChatGPT account. And as you can see, it says that the save memory feature is full. And that means ChatGPT is no longer able to store future information that could be relevant to the user. And this could be very detrimental to the quality of the answers from ChatGPT. Now, the question is, how do you deal with the full memory problem in ChatGPT? Well, there are three options that you can try. And the last one is very interesting and actually kind of smart. But let's start with a simple solution. So if you are using ChatGPT a lot and if you find value from this platform, then I think it is still a worthwhile uh, option to upgrade to the paid version of ChatGPT because in the paid version, whether it's the Plus, Pro, Business, or Enterprise plan in ChatGPT, you will get more memory access. Basically, the memory limit is much bigger to the point that you don't have to worry about but memory anymore. If you are using the free version of ChatGPT, the memory will be full in about a week or so. But in the paid version, so far I have never encountered that, that issue. And the only reason I got this message because I'm intentionally making the memory full so I can make this video. But for day-to-day -day use, I think you don't have to worry about memory anymore if you are using the paid version. But I can understand that this is probably not the best option for everyone because you have to spend some money to fix the problem. And that leads us to the second option, which is kind of straightforward. So in ChatGPT, you can always control what memory or what information that ChatGPT needs to preserve. So to control or to delete the memory, you can go to your profile picture, go to personalization, and on the memory section, you want to click manage. And after that, you can click the trash icon to remove every single item that you deem to be no longer important or no longer relevant. So that, I would say that's the most straightforward option for most people. And maybe the only downside is you have to read or review every single item and make sure that you only remove the ones that are no longer important. So how about the option number three? Well, the last one, the, the, the last option, the last method you can try is actually kind of interesting. So there is one thing here that you need to know about how ChatGPT memory works. Essentially, it's not about the number of items in the memory. It is more about the number of tokens or let's say the number of words in the, in the overall memory. So you could have 100 items with very long detailed memories or 1000 items with very concise or short memory it still doesn't matter because again what matter is the number of tokens of the memory and with that i think you know where this is going so basically i have this memory that is very long and very detailed but most of the times the information are not really necessary so we can compress the, mem the memory you we can compress or make the information more condensed and therefore it consumes less tokens in the chat GPT memory and of course we can use chat GPT to basically summarize everything so for the third solution what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy every single item in the chat GPT memory i can just select every single text in the memory and i'm going to right click and copy it now i'm going to, I'm going to close this uh, window basically and i'm going to start a new chat in chat GPT and I'll tell ChatGPT to summarize these points. It's you know very long memory, but don't worry, ChatGPT is able to do that. And here, I'm going to use this simple instruction and I'm going to provide the instruction in the video description down below. Okay, it's very long, so sorry about that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to deal with. Okay, uh, I don't know what's going on. My cursor doesn't want me to put the cursor to the very top. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to add a new line at the very beginning and I'll insert this instruction. The following is taken from memory. Please summarize and merge similar points into the same category. Present the result in a bullet list format. And this is just a simple prompt that I use, but feel free to customize the prompt as you like. And basically the goal of this process is to make the memory to be more concise and trying to be more effective and therefore it is not going to consume the same amount of space in the memory so here i'm going to select the thinking model because uh, it's just much better it has much bigger uh, much bigger context window and overall it's just more, much more consistent but if you don't ha have access to the thinking model feel free to use the regular chat gpt5 version now i'm going to send a message and just wait, it might take quite a while because for me, the memory is quite long. So I'll just skip a while and show you the next step that you can do afterward. All right, so the memory has been condensed or compressed. And as you can see, it is a lot shorter than 
the original memory that is very very long and detailed now basically we want to clear our memory and then insert the new ones that we just summarized with ChatGPT. so let's go to the personalization again and i'm going to delete every single item in the memory and fortunately there is this delete button so it's going to be very instant all right there you go i'm going to close this close this again and i will insert or i will send this instruction to ChatGPT. I want you to save those summarized points into memory. Just send a message and just wait until ChatGPT process everything and will put that information into the memory. All right, so the new memory has been saved. And if you go to your memory again, you will see now it's going to be going to be much more concise thanks to the summarization from ChatGPT and there it goes so the whole information that used to be full now has been condensed and this is should be enough for ChatGPT to know some essential information about the user so i think this is a great way to condense the memory or to fix the full memory problem in ChatGPT without deleting anything and essentially maintaining the essential information so i hope you find this video to be useful and i'll see you on my next video have a great day